Hello guys. This is a Shih Tzu and here we are going to start the grooming by taking his mustache. Okay, here I use the brush before starting to shave his paw because it makes the hair smoother so I don't have a problem with the clipper when shaving. Just passing the clipper under paw hair and leaving the hair on the side to make a very fluffy paw, what I call it elephant paw. And here I'm doing the same thing with the other paw and always leaving a little hair to stay between the dog's fingers for safety. Now I'm cutting his nails and not forgetting to secure the paws so that the dog doesn't move or kick me and I end up cutting what I don't need or end up bleeding. Combing the edges and with a precise cut I'm going to remove the excess, just what's passing under the paw. Then doing the same procedure for the other paws. I only take off what's going from under the paw because then when I round off the paw to make the famous elephant paw or the fluffy paw, there will be only the hair on top and with that it's easier to take off and round off because the under hair I already took it off. Now I am going to show you guys the way to use a blade with the clipper, in this case I used a 10mm guide attachment which equivalent to 3 8 inches, it is important that you move it in the hair's growth direction, you can see that I'm passing in the dog's back and not going all the way to the end. because when I will be using the shears, I will be doing a mark at the dog crotch and another one under the dog's arm and then I will be doing a precise cut. This makes the dog looks more compact. Which means that the groom looks more pretty and well done. Here I'm just doing some markings on the dog's belly. I'm using a curved shear and another thing is you don't have to worry about being uneven because they are only markings, later I will be fixing it with another type of shear. Here you could see that I always make sure that the table is clean so the dog does not end up sliding off the table and the hairs does not go to their eyes. There I used a chunker shear to get rid of the ends. Now I'm back with the clipper carving the dog, you can notice that I am doing it precisely at the top of the neck and then softly at the sides and in the paws, this technique is called floating, you don't go hard on the dog's paw, you go blending softly so it does match it all on the sides and paws. You can notice that I go deep on the back of the leg and then in the front I do it softly. Here I am doing the back angulation, on the inside I go a little deeper than the sides and then I use a curved shear to finish the legs.
Okay, now you guys always ask me how to do the back of their head, here it is. You are going to start the grooming by localizing the middle of their skull and until the beginning of the ear's insertion. And then I go blending on the sides just like I do on the cheeks. I take the clipper carefully without going too deep on the neck and then I take off the volume so when I am grooming with the shears I don't have to worry about taking a lot of excess. Now on his face, I do a marking from eye to eye with the clipper, only taking off the excess hair and then with the curve of the shear facing up, I will be cleaning the corns of his eyes, that way leaves the dog with a happier expression, so it does not happen to be a triangle cut on the dog's face, well rounded. Here I am taking off the excess from the sides of his face with a straight shear and I also take a little bit of his bangs. It is important that you take a little from the side of their face because then it does not look like a frog mouth, cheeky you know? Here I am cleaning his bangs and after that I will be taking the excess off from the front of his face as you can see. And then here I am rounding it up so it looks just like a donut, removing all the ends so it turns out as a rounded, harmonic, fluffy and structured face. If you like this video don't forget to like it below, to leave a comment and also to subscribe to our channel for more dog grooming tips. And now as you can see he is very pretty and happy that he is going home after spending some time with us.